Every clean man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. And now we're back in some lovely winter fashion. Sporting the ragged mask, the Millwood Knight armor, Cornix's wrap of course, and the sellsword trousers, a classic as always. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Oh, beautiful. I'm, I'm glad that's how we started. <laughs> uh, in case you ever think this channel's super fucking serious, I mean... I think that kind of helps tip you off as to my intent. And the turn of these vids. Yeah, so flies. They think they can ambush. They also take, like, double damage when they're midair. Um, yeah, so that ladder there. Uh, yeah, it's... Well, there's that one. There's one below us that'll kind of drop later. When we kill a specific enemy. We ain't doing that now. We're saving that for later, most likely. Yeah, maybe the end of all this. I don't know. Hey, listen. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. He's ordinary. Yo, fuckers. Yo, motherfuckers, over here. Uh huh. I see. Curve sword try hard. Well played. Can't escape my rhythm. Can't escape from Crossing Fate. And time to uh, ignore the Crossing Fate reference and snowboard. Kinda. Yeah, here we go. Whole Oscar Day coming back from straight from Twilight Princess. Yeah. Radical. I'm happy they kept that tech um, from Bed of Chaos. Alright, uh, yeah, so there's a Millwood Knight who hangs around on that branch. He's a bit, oh, sorry, that giant root. He's kind of a dick. There's a bonfire just down there. Enemies, including some crabs over that way. Crabs are under the ice. Boss fight there. In this arena that looks suspiciously like where Priscilla hung around in Dark Souls 1. A Dark Souls 1 reference in Dark Souls 3? Wow. FromSoft have outdone themselves. <laughs> I, I know in the last part I was saying, yeah, there are Dark Souls 2 references here and there, they're just a lot more subtle. Doesn't mean I'm, you know, totally on board with some of the, uh... uh how do we phrase this politely? <laughs> the, um, jerking off of Dark Souls 1, I suppose. In the most vulgar of terms possible. Yeah, it's the first time you guys will see this. Sewer centipedes. They're cool. They're not a Bloodborne enemy, surprisingly. They look like them, but I don't believe they're a reused asset or anything. Maybe the they're a cut design or something, who knows. This is why we keep the whip around. Wonder if you're alive. Oh, well, I fucked it up. Beautiful. Man, you, you guys are in for some shit near a full dungeon, I tell you what. You think this is dumb, with like the amount of range the whips have here, and the amount of shit they just kill. Airfield Dungeon's nuts. Trolling fucking five jailers through a wall is the best. One of my favorite parts of this game. Not that, you know, these are super viable or anything, but... It's an absolute massacre. Ultra kill. Unstoppable. Godlike, I guess. I don't know. Not really. Don't really have the charisma. Alright, now, out of all the enemies I'm going to be encountering in this area, there's one I'm not fighting. At least one. Go get the skull. Yoink. He's coming back. So that's a Corvian Knight. I talked about him earlier. There's two hanging up in the church up ahead, the small church. 
Uh, they wall hack big time. It's some shit. And the walls freak out too for some reason. Time for confidence. An ember. And a friend, believe it or not. Oh. Well, there is nothing forlorn about you. You must be the other Ash, I suppose. Oh. Oh, finally, you have come. Oh, wondrous Ash. Grant us our wish. Make the tales true. And burn this world away. My lady must see flame. And you have only to show her. You are Ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Surely you've seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that which fooled the good father and buried the fame. After we had all made up our minds too. So, please, grant us one wish. Make the tales true, and burn this world away. My lady must see flame, and you have only to show her. I appreciate the upvote, but thanks for uh, ruining it. Let's see, which one was it? Ah oh, yeah, of course. Therefore, try God. Yeah, had a feeling. Yeah, so that which he's talking about is freed, believe it or not. Um, there is some lore there, we'll talk about that eventually. But she's related to someone we've met. Someone I pissed off, and have to go, uh, get some absolution over pissing off very soon. And hey, another bonfire. Gosh, there's too many bonfires in this game. A legit criticism, to be fair, but in this case... No, I'm very happy to take it. Yeah, so he's kind of chilling down here, the dickhead. My vocab's really expanding today, isn't it? Yeah, they're casters, by the way. Yeah, shut up. Let's see. There's two guys. Uh, wait, three guys? Yes! Beautiful. Let's put poison bullshit. Let's see if we can get him. Gotcha. Alright, now let's see if we do this way. No, okay, got it. That's for you guys. Let's whip out a bow. Oh, of course, what am I doing? Give a sec, regen. No, you don't. You're gonna spew at me, huh? Uh huh. Beautiful. How about you, friend? Perfect. And how about you, buddy? Nope. Okay, we'll leave you. Fair enough. Alright, well that's going to make our life easier, because those guys cast some magic missile bullshit. And we ain't going to tolerate that. So an event's about to happen up ahead. So how about we ignore that? This guy, who I just hit through the wall, is meant to push us. Bit of a dick move. Dick move, you. Dick move, Joey. And we'll grab an amber. And we'll head this way. Across the bridge. Now there's a sewer centipede down here. And an item. We're gonna have to jump off twice and run past... That... Edge Lord. Um, but yeah. Yeah, poise for the push, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can get him. There was an attempt. I can't say if it wasn't. It was a solid attempt. It was a shit one. But you tried, damn it. That takes courage. And where I'm from, Canada, we reward courage. Ah, uh, man, Otto was secretly such a good actor. 
Bang. No, I'm not chasing you down there. Yes. Sick. Oh, by the way, I made this plus six. Kind of annoying. Uh, One-handed, it's weaker than the Flamburge, because the Flamburge has fucking amazing base damage. Um, Two-handed, yeah, outclasses it. And it's the exact same weight as using the Whip and the Flamburge. Which means I can just get rid of both for it if I want to use it. That's it if I'm two-handing. Yeah, there's no point using a shield, huh? The Crow Quills, which our invader friend from Cathedral was using. Dung Pie? No? Okay. That's lame. Alright, let's have a look. Thrusting Sword wielded by Corvian Knights, and a special paired weapon. When twin-handed, brandish four thin edged blades in the left hand. In their infatuation with Sister Freed, the Corvian Knights swore to protect the painting from fire, and to this end, took to the execution of their own brethren. Quill Dart simultaneously throw substantial illusions of a four thin edged blades wielded in the left hand. Because then you'd have to have ammo if they weren't. Actually, it's fine. We'll show it off, kind of. One, two. It's the rapier moveset. A little thrusting sword. More akin to be a stock, if anything. This is where shit gets a little more interesting. Really easy to parry, supposedly, but yeah. And the weapon art, well, I'll show off later. But you saw it quite a bit in Cathedral with our invader friend. Alright, now we're going to run past this jerk again. Um, look, I could beat him at this point. I could try. I'd rather not have to bother. I'd rather just take care of him the old-fashioned way. Which is... If he takes the bait... What? Okay, this is weird. Come on. Oh, so close. Fuck. Yeah, it's our friends from Dark Souls 1. The on fix. Okay, not that bad, thankfully. Oh, we got lucky. It's thankful. I'm very thankful I could abuse some skulls. Yeah, they drop those. They can also drop chunks, but... Fuck farming. Fuck farming those guys at this point. Because uh, we took a bit of damage and we're not really going to need a block for a few seconds. Pop this back on. Of course, the trick is always to do this. Quite handy. Sun Princess Ring is optimal for this. Especially if you stack it with stuff like this. Like this, like that. Like this, this, like that. Alright. We'll drop down to Sewer Centipede in a second. Now, the intended route is you run through just ahead to the right. But, we'll see if I can nail it. Yep, perfect. Now, Rapier, fuck, we'll jump down and we'll just run across to this roof. Quickly, because that shit hurts. Um, here's our casting friends. This guy's made an ambush you by falling down. Yeah, can you guys stop that? And they're all running, unsurprisingly. Now there's some more casters over here. Shortcut just hit. Broke someone's dresser. Oh, how shameful. Shameful indeed. I forget if these guys fight us properly. Sometimes they will, if we're in the way. Um, yeah, that guy's a jerk. Don't fuck with him. Especially at this point. There's a reason I rarely ever try to fight him. So, we'll uh, take care of the way we were meant to go in a second. Speaking of which, we're up here. Same room. Our Corvian buddy is just down here. Burn it all. Burn it all away. Could make some edgy remark, but we'll leave it at that. Dude's got a point. Shit's fucked. Just gotta go. See, even a rot's fucking flat textures, so, you know, that's no good. Now we've distracted his buddy. Let's go around. Oh, fuck off. 
No one can survive a backstab like that. Sever him very easily. The Crow Talons? And what are you again? Soul. Beautiful. I sometimes used to forget the talons, which is kind of dumb to say, believe it or not. Well, in fact, I forgot them. Of course it's dumb. Their claws. Their, uh, Raptor Flurry is quite cool. I'll show that off in a moment. Uh, I just kind of want to get all this shit done with. Alright. Um, so we're kind of doing this part backwards. Here's one of our big vomiting boys again. That gentleman right there is guarding an item. He's meant to push us when we go for it. As you can see, he has poise, so he can puke on us. Let's run around and grab it. There's Priscilla's Arena. That was originally where Nito was going to hang out in Dark Souls 1. That's a cool little tidbit about DS1 for you. And of course, the Painted World was the first demo area of Dark Souls 1. And used as a proof of concept to hook investments or something like that. I don't know, something like that. And Banda Namco went, yeah, yes, Subarashi, uh, yes, hire you, please. Good as I. Yeah, so here's all our friends. The push gang. There's a lot of them. Can you fuck off? That guy often, yeah, goes off edges. He's a bit of a champ. I won. Beautiful. Alright, now our real edgy looking friend. Hang around there. Oh yeah, that's you too. We can always alluring skull him off the edge potentially, but there he is. Oh, I can hear it. I can hear the fucking infinite theme playing. From the hit game Sonic Forces. Yep. So to show you the intended route now that Dickbag's gone. Yep, oh, well he's dead. So this is gate up ahead. We're taking a long way around to get to get through it. Up and around to get to Father Gasquang's graveyard. Yes, that's my first mention of Gascoin this entire playthrough. Oh, that's weird. It took a while to get there. Uh, there's also this little secluded spot here. You can get on top of the roof, but it requires a bit of finesse. Um, we'll try that proper in a sec. There's fly boys in here. Of course, we can just do this. Oh, we hit both, huh? Fantastic. Dark gem? Dark gem. Sick. Now we'll come around here. Can you jump up this? No, you can't. Um... There is a skip right at the start, after the snowboarding section, um, after 1080 snowboarding, where you can totally do some shenanigans and jump up the wall. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, not something I'm going to try to do because I suck at it, and there's a good chance I'll just fall to my death, so, you know. In fact, there's a chance I might just die here if I fuck this up. Oh, come on. Damn it. Just by sheer fact of maybe I'll fall off a cliff somehow. I'll be the sword master. Ah, oh, damn it. Invisible walls, how do they work? Anyway, main point is, there's an item there, we'll drop off to get it. We'll just take the shortcut again. Physics-based shortcuts in my Dark Souls? Never, says man playing the game with a tree jump. Alright, so we've done all that. Come around there. Come up here. Took care of them. Now here's the room with the spitters. My favorite Left 4 Dead infected. Uh -oh. Sir, you're blocking the door. Sir, you're making a scene. It's a goddamn arms race. Bingo. Right, so that's that taken care of. All festivities. Now the intended root of course is to just go through that door and such. I will look at Gale's stuff in a sec. I kind of just want to get this done with. Run hip. There is a crystal listed up ahead and another one of our claw using Threns. I would rather not have to deal with his shenanigans. So we'll uh, snipe him off in a sec. The lizard's probably going to outrun us but there's only so much we can do about that. 
in the meantime, Slave Knight Hood. A cloth hood in issued to slave knights, coloured red, to vibrantly signify their stature. Long ago, only the undead served as, as a slave... <laughs> Long ago, only the undead served as slave knights. Warriors used this fodder in the bleakest of battles. They grew decrepit, their skin charred black, and their bones twisted. Eventually, they went outright mad, but were never relieved from duty. Amazing. Fuck it. Oh, we don't have enough strength. Yeah, that's right. We can't use the use Great Mace, which I managed to get, surprisingly. Also, if someone invades me and wants one, I've got three Cathedral Knight Great Swords. Bonk. This guy's a fucking champ. Um. Here. Oh, no need. He's, uh, he's kind of taking care of it for us. Alright. This list is very good at getting away. That said, yep, no, he's proven it. You fuck, this is gonna hurt. Gotcha. And we're on top of this roof. There you are, Chuckles. Eat shit. Fall off your horse, etc., etc. You know what? We could backstab him. How about we do that on the way back? Let's get through this, get into the graveyard, then we'll come back for Stabu Stabu. Yeah, this would be way faster without having to, you know, avoid these guys because I'm too fucking weak. Oh, wait a minute. No, even if I had beaten the base game, I wouldn't be fighting him for the most part. Oh, the real fun's in that church. Holy shit. Also, fuck these guys. There's two, two of these fucking trees right here. And a well with nothing. That's also a great addition. Beasts all over the shop. You'll be one of them. Sooner or later enough to make a man sick. Thank you, that was my audition for Father Gasquang. Um... I see. Alright. Since your brother proved to be quite adept at being a fuckwit, show me your stuff. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I've only got one of these left and two to deal with. In fact, you know what? Let's just get to this fucking bonfire. But we better make... We better break... Right. So we can break a bit more line of sight. So another tree winch up ahead. Unsort... Unsightly fellows. Ow, oh, how I love their father's money. Unhand her damn backslide. Alright, what are you? Rusted coins. Cool. Always welcome to get some more rusted coins. I'm hoping I'll be able to farm the Farron set in the meantime. You know, between parts. Okay, there he is. Perfect. Alright, you ready for some fun? I am too. Oh boy, here we go. Get the AMVs pumping. Time. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret must be unearthed. Such is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach for the agony that you'll bring upon yourself. This guy makes AMVs. Alright, now, you can fight him legit, but this guy's got a lot of heals. So you know what you can do? The tried and true technique of getting him nice and far away. And give him, giving him the old shove. Man, the Painter World's full of so many fucking edgelords. Wilhelm, Freed, Vakorvian Knights. Good stuff. And after all this time, you're back for more. Okay. I guess... Okay, yep, no, he's out. Hmm. Well, that worked really fucking well. Alright, Yonix Blade. Cool shit. L3. 
Why do I pronounce that like a TH? Elfried, the eldest amongst her sisters and leader of the Sable Church, bestowed the sword to her knight. Only the sword was a farewell gift, and acceptance signified the knight's resignation from Elfried's service. Elfried's Black Flame. In Reef Blade with Black Flame. Born of the similarly hued flame that smolders within her. Because, you know, edgy AMV bullshit. Alright, and we have a contraption key. Wonder what, what we could use this for. The key to the contraption leading to the attic of the archive found at the edge of Corvin settlement. After Sir Wilhelm led a white-haired woman to the attic of the library, he kept this key as if it were his life. Don't stand near the books. I mean, you can, but... That hurts. Yes, it's apparent why I know that. Because it fucking hurts. <laughs> I believe... I feel the scent of ash upon thee. Thou art the one of whom Uncle Gale spoke. The one to show me flame. Tis good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Tis good. I'll head off to paint. I promised Uncle Gale I would. Tis good. The door is... Yep. Anyway, that's the painter. Uh, she's the reason Gale decided to bring us here. Other than to fuck Freed's day up. Because nobody likes Freed. Uh, I'm saying in canon. I know she's a good fight, I just suck at her. I'm well aware that's the case. Alright, uh, a few more items to get down there. Oh boy. Fun times, fun times. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing in here, sadly. Cool area, but there's nothing really to it, huh? Other than... Bloodborne-esque clutter. Right, so... Ran right aside over here, ignoring you because I ain't dealing with your shit. But I aggroed him, so well done me. Um, there's nothing except for some enemies. Pointless ahead, but hey, it's souls. I could do with a level or two. Oh, it's the gang! Hey, you know how I talked about enemies clipping through the world? <laughs> well, <laughs> here you go. Now, I don't want to hear me using the whip like this as cheating when that guy has some fucking awesome ground-based tech. We shattered some stuff, and now let's see if we can hit anyone. Probably for the best we don't piss anything off. Right. Into the fucking Chapel of Doom. Welcome to the proverbial and literal Terror Dome. Please don't. Please don't hit us. Please don't hit us. I don't want to have to heal now. Alright, now which way is the correct way in? Well, someone's pissed off. It's not this way. Yes, this is one such way. So as you can see, there's a claw fucker and a rapier fucker. They're good friends. This world, peaceful, gentle and kind. Yeah, I know what I said. Right, okay, let's think about how we do this, because I have 11 flasks, I have one skull. I've got to chuck this, grab the item, open the door, get the fuck out of dodge. Alright, I guess it's best to throw this now. Yep. Fucking leg it! And no, you can't close this behind you. Um, that's the door where that fuck clips hardcore. It's pretty hilarious, but I ain't doing it now. Oh Christ, he's Lord, he coming. See you later. I've got you here, let's test, let's test. Alright, come on, put him up, show me what you got. Panic rolls for days. No, come on, seriously though, show me. How far can you go? Yeah, so if you hit them hard enough, uh, you, they will totally get reposted. If, they'll be open up for a repost.
Damn it. Come on. Come on, fucker. So you can bully them when they're not trying to poise through bullshit. Right. Beautiful. Alright, now let's see what we wasted our life for. The way of right <laughs> the way of white corona. An objective piece of shit. A lost way of white miracle launches a white discus which slices foes in slices into foes and returns to its conjurers. A conjurer, singular, my bad. Long long ago, when the imprints left by the gods were still deep, miracles of the way of white existed alongside um don't remember how to pronounce that, but I think you can gather the kind of shape it's referring to. Are uh, those who yearned for the long lost those fully believed that they would return one day. Or Corona. That's a shape. It's also a virus. You know, the one we've been dealing with for a while. I ain't getting political in this one, believe it or not. All I'm going to say is our government fucking sucks. Anyway, that's enough about that. Alright, let's run back and deal with Centipede. Um, grab the one item. Hit home because it's way easier. Other than running through all this shit again. I gotta buy some more skulls from Patches. Speaking of which, we can get his gesture now. The Patches squad. Now, I'm pretty sure this door will shut. Um, if we quit the game, but... Oh yeah, here's the fun part. Getting past this dick. Not so tough now, are you, bitch? Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Dun, 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 dun. Ugh. Yeah, fucking... This is some Sekiro tier bullshit. Oh, fuck. Frost damage, huh? You get hit by enough of those, you will die. No way, no way around it. It's not cool. It's pretty lame. It's not fun at all. So as you can see, you can totally poise through their bullshit when you know what you're doing. Wouldn't advise it, because you saw how much that fucking chunked me for. Anyway, plunging attack. Verticality. Etc, etc. Right, and what's this? I believe it's not worth it at all. Oh good, a simple gem. Way to make a mockery of me. A gem of infused titanite, said to be an object of infatuation for victims of stunted development. Used in infusion to create simple weapons. Simple weapons inflict magic damage and restore FP very gradually. To help even a simpleton muster some metal. It's making fun of the fact people pop it on their Cestus. Sorry, Kestus. Um, they knew people would totally do that, and they were fucking right. But hey, from soft, that's what happens when you make an FP system with no way to restore it outside of splitting your health in half. Just saying. Alright, I haven't grabbed a level for quite some time. My character's been kind of static for a while. I could do with some VIT, believe it or not. And I could do with some more endurance, perhaps? Ah, uh, one more point of strength, because this way we can I can use the Millwood bow. Uh, and I can use the Executioner's Greatsword, which is pretty cool. Let's just double check. 19 strength is enough for the bow. 19 strength is enough for the bow. Perfect. Yeah, Executioner's Greatsword is pretty fucking rad, because of the FP thing. Just pop it on your back and go nuts with other shit. Alright, while we're here, we'll show, show off some of this. Alright. Hup. That's exactly what our mate was using. Um, I've had a theory for a while. I'm pretty sure someone tested it out anyway. Um, I wanted to know what happened if these were fire infused and used it in the undead settlement to smack them barrels. All those barrels. Pretty sure it works. Okay, does a heavy attack extend this? I forget. No, no it doesn't. But yeah, um, incredibly easily parryable, supposedly. In case you couldn't tell <laughs> from how fucking telegraph that shit is. And the fact that eventually people just get to roll out because Dark Souls free mechanics. 
Alright, cool, we got some more of it, which means we can, you know, change up our armor a tiny bit. Something a little more substantial? Yeah. Nothing really great, to be honest. I like the poise ratio we got going on. It's not the best, but it's pretty decent. Ah, uh, yeah, that's acceptable. Yeah, the drank stuff kind of suffers from not a lot of poise. Oh, can we wear these boots? Fuck, we're just too heavy. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I was really hoping we could uh, wear these boots. Fit the occasion. Unless... Aha, a Craybourne wrap. Perfect. Good thing I farmed it. Hey, leather shield. That's neat to see. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Never read this from Cathedral. Might as well read it now. A braille divine tome of the deep belonging to the deacons of the cathedral. Give this to a storyteller to learn miracles of the deep. Intended to teach divine protection to the deacons of the deep, but later dark tales were added to its pages. Such that it is now considered a thing profane. So you can give it to Carla, but that, uh, sorry, um, Arena, but that just kind of fucks her storyline up. Um, assuming you want to get to the end. The proper end. Ah, oh, frozen weapon. I picked this up, of course. One of the spells left behind by the young sorcerer Sullivan before leaving the painted world imbues right hand with frost. Sullivan was born and raised inside the painting, yet had little use for his frigid homeland since he had yacht, a yacht not experienced loss. Ah, oh, you know, those, those four vague shapes that make up the comic. You know the, you know the one. Oh. I like the idea of Pontiff being like, man, everything's going great. I've got Aldrich up in, in Orlando. He's eating Gwyn. Uh, sorry, he's eating Gwendolyn. Um, everything's going pretty, pretty all right. Lothric ain't doing shit. Hey, what's this? A comic named Loss. Let's have a look at this. I'm not making light of a comic. I'm making light of the meme surrounding it, rather. That'd be kind of cruel if I was uh, doing otherwise. Alright. R2s. Yeah. Yourself. Alright. Now we can just... Wait, what the fuck? Oh. You... <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. I knew you had to be showing up soon, man. But I had no idea it was going to be that soon. Bingo. Get me during my iframe, fuckers. I meant to buy more skulls. Oh well. Alright, now there's two guys hanging around there. Not worth it because there's no items. Ain't shit. That's a prism stone. How about no? You crazy follower bastards. Oh, armor. Sick. That's exactly what I was hoping for. That's not what I was hoping for. Whoa. Fucking frame rate. We gotta get it out all back on this way. Oh, something died. Wonder if it was a wolf or one of these guys. Alright, fucking curved sword, dickhead. Now right, come here, buddy. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, so you can come up here, huh? Uh huh. One, two, three. Perfect. Okay, torch bearers that away. Yeah, go, yeah, fucking Olympics are that way, dickhead. I will now not make a statement on how I think it might be socially irresponsible, it's, it's socially irresponsible to be ho hosting a major sporting event during a pandemic. Because remember, gaming on YouTube should be apolitical, even though things are inherently political. Anyway, that's enough out of me. Video games, am I right, fellow gamers? How about that alt-right? <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving it at that. Fuck it. How about that alt-right? <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, the helm. Thank you. Who you calling, Pinhead? The alt-right, I guess. Local Australian who makes videos... Talks about unions being good. Secretly makes fun of alt-right people. Who saw this coming? Not I. 
said Australian. Get out of here, Cory Bernardi, you wanker. Yeah, you can look him up if you want. Allegations about doing dogs and such. <laughs> By allegations, I mean a joke, and it pissed him off great. Thank you, Chasers, you fucking legends. Yeah, yeah, you know what? If you, any of you guys watching this aren't from Australia, check up for Chasers, War and Everything. Those guys are fucking heroes. Amazing political satire. Some good shit. Some good shit. Especially, what was it? Uh, the, is it the, yeah, Apex Summit. That was, that was some good shit. I was in high school at the time, but man, that was great. Does constitute a satire, though? I have a beholder and such, I guess. Anyway. Now for the politics are over, fellow gamers. Um... Let's address the politics of being a Farron follower. It probably sucks quite a bit. You probably don't get many rights. Um, long work hours. You'd think for being in such great numbers they might unionize or something. Ah oh well. Unions promote communism. This is what American people have told me. I should keep that in... Yeah, you know, I should keep that in note. Store it in my memory bank. One, two, you. <laughs> Fucking, I knew you were there. You still got me, you prick. Every time. I was doing a bit. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Yeah? Shut up. You this way, man. We'll see if we triggered his buddy. Yeah? What are you gonna do? Yeah? You come, yeah? Oh, you coming over here, huh? Yep. Beautiful. Well played. Alright. Torchbearer. Kind of want to backstab him, but... Oh, fuck this. It's worth it. Guess we're not getting that backstab. Some R1 spam, though. On the other hand, totally acceptable. Gotcha. R2. Nailed it. Alright, now there's an item here. Yes, it's a chunk. Sick. Four chunks, hey, we can get the whip and the flamberge up to plus seven. Now there's two more there's two guaranteed chunks um coming up in Irafil Dungeon. So that's pretty rad. One from the giant and one from the ledge the giant is leaning on. There's a crystal lizard there too, but I'm pretty sure that's not what, Yeah, no, that's not what gives the chunk, it's the item. So if we walk over there, that shit's gonna fall in an ambush with some Millwood Knights. I'd rather not deal with that right now. I'd also rather not deal with your R1 spam. Uh, this tree is a bit of a shit sometimes. It's a shortcut, but at the same time, if you're a little too close, it'll, do, it'll deal damage. Shit sucks. That said, shortcut's not open yet. Gotta waltz on over this way. Hit lift, and that'll take us back down to the painter's room. Where she's drawing some commissions or something, I don't know. Okay. Now, this guy's got a backup dancer. Two spearmen. Yep. Uh huh. Interesting. One, two, three, block. We'll deal with you in a second, mate. Come over here. Or rather, I'm coming to you. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Just give me them pants, please. Hey, there's another chunk. I totally forgot about that. Hey, you can fall down there to get back to a bonfire. That's kind of going to hurt. We can do this, however. Gives you a chance to plunge and attack the other fuck if you haven't killed him already. Right, what's over here? You. What a surprise. What a shame. He was a good man. What a, what a rotten way to die. Well, let's have a quick look at this. I'm pretty sure the item description is identical. Hey, yeah, I got two of these, don't I? Yep. Not very good on poise, but, you know, pretty nice looking. I think I explained in one of the videos, probably wasn't a Souls playthrough, but, um, I have what I call, I had what I call a, um, Strength Bandit, Strength Assassin, where I tried to maintain a light roll while using the club. It was something. It's actually pretty fun. It's a pretty cool build. 
lot of fun. Um, it's a pseudo stealth build, just centering around strength weapons. So yeah, Flynn Ring was surprisingly viable. I think I got up to like, around the amount of vit I have right now. And you know, I still ha could maintain a fast roll wearing some pretty decent armor. Lightweight stuff, of course. The Farron set, um, or the Follower set, uh, the Black set, the Assassin set, shit like that. Can you come down? I don't want to come to you. Fuck you. Yeah, Pooch. Now these dogs are gonna fucking uh, Tokyo drift the shit out of this place. They're very good at running off cliffs. More light shots. Yep. Case in point. Now this guy um, confused me initially. Because it's totally a corpse. He's just very hard to see. And he's guarding something pretty cool. A follower torch. Hey, thanks for the shot, man. 12. Rad. We can get the uh, black blade up to 6. And we can get something else to plus 5. Um, I'll have a look at that now, actually. Let's just have a peek around the corner. Wolf pack. There's a few up there. There's a couple. <laughs> One right there. Let's just mosey on this way for a sec. We gotta clear out downstairs anyway. Uh, follow a torch. Heavier but better than the standard one, obviously. An offensive torch used by the Farron followers provides light and doubles as a weapon. Some forms of the abyss manifest as pus within the body, treated from ancient times with fire. You can breathe fire by spitting a combustible fuel across the torch to breathe flame in a sweeping motion. A front sweeping motion. I have it on, um... I used to have like, what was it? Kind of like a torch hollow build, I guess you'd call it. Um, ideally, I'd fucking love to get warmth on it, on it one day. Just kind of play like the um, the torch hollows in Dark Souls too, if anything. Ah, uh, fuck, this is gonna be a shame. One, uh, miss. Can I get hit by something? Yep, there we go. Yeah, I would have rather the spear. So thank you. Shut up. Gonna take the hit. Yep. I'm fine with that. Not anymore, but. Okay, there's a bunch of guys in that cave. Who is that one? Who we knocked off a cliff. Ah, uh, fucking spear, spear and shield. Get out of here. And block this. Beautiful. Now over here we have the follower shield. What well, these chuckle fucks are using. For a medium shield, it's pretty fucking good on the stability department. Obviously you can't hold a candle to this, but still. Lightweight, pretty good block all round. Except for fire, of course. Standard shield used by the Farron followers, crafted with wood and reinforced with metal, imbued with a faint resistance to the abyss. Hence it's 65 dark resistance. That's not too bad. And it's a weapon skill shield. I tried making a build, um, a kind of mage where I used to use uh, Farron Flash Sword as my weapon. I had one of those. I had that shield actually. Yeah, that specific one. It's pretty fun conceptually. Uh, won't really get you any, won't really get you anywhere. Cause um, you know, using FP constantly is kind of bad. You'd need a hell of a bar. And you'd never, you'd need to never get hit and only have Ash and S's to make it viable. Yeah, because it makes it so you can just buff the stave. With impunity. Still pretty cool though. Alright, there's a path over there, but we're just going to take the scenic route. Can we see any wolves from here? Can we see any Millwood Knights? There's one up there and there's the second just there near the tree. You can probably just make him out. If you know this game, you know exactly where he is. He's hidden by the branches, but he's up there. Yeah, that dark silhouette. Uh, wait, no. Lost him. Oh, well, fuck it. Alright, so there's a pack of wolves to deal with. There's those fuckers. There's a bunch of them downstairs. Uh, don't really want to have to go deal with them, but we shall, I guess. Hey, I knew you were there, but fuck it. It's worth it. Okay, it's not worth it. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Get. 
Make like a silver knight and fly to Analondo. Oh, he's still alive, good to know. There should be one more, I figured. Up there, at least. Yeah, so here's our friend down here. Ah, uh, here's this big boy. I was wondering about that. Whoa, fuck! <laughs> Good show, man. Good show. <laughs> kind of dangerous to be out of stamina at this point, but fuck it, I want him dead. Oh, you shits. <laughs> Alright. That was by accident, but still, sick as hell. Alright, come on. Come on, Pooch. I'm done playing. Man, I wish you could set up a whip like a tripwire, just tie it to this and tie it to this. Have one of those cartoon boy oy 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 sound effects. Oh, sorry, what am I talking about? My stand of power. Echoes, Act 2. Yes, it was Act 2 at that point. Yeah, I liked for JoJo. I'm pretty sure that's apparent by now. I'm considering maybe playing Eyes of Heaven one day on the channel. That'd be rad. Fucking, if I end up playing the Diamond and Pearl remake, that's just going to be JoJo stands the entire time, let's be honest. Alright, you need to get out of here, Stalker. Yep. Tovaric. That's basically all the Russian I know. Other than shit like vodka, cosmodome, cosmonaut, space monkey, etc. Alright, so we got Millwood Knight who's going to be all aggressive. BE, aggressive. BE, AGG, RA, scissor, IV. Roll. G. E. Whatever. I misspelled aggressive. Malnutrition. My submission. You're the master and I'm kicking down this tree. Here he is. He's pissed. He's here. The time is now. We live forever. That's it. He, uh, he can't path, thankfully. Alright, we'll deal with this shit later. Shortcut right ahead. Oh, uh, if this shit wasn't apparent. We're gonna go, go back and probably get hit by an arrow. Uh, this leads around here. Which leads around here. Which leads... One sec. Okay, cool. Didn't need a roll. Down here. Where the other tree is. And those two jerkwads are kind of just marching around doing nothing. Nothing. You fucker. I seen it. I know what y'all doing. Go to hell, you old bastard. Have the Rolling Stones killed. Do as I say. Alright, fly room. Can play Sidira's theme from KI at this point. That's sick, sick Mick Gordon score. Alright. These flies spitting facts, I believe, as the youngsters say. Uh oh. I appear to be rocks in. Nope. Y'all trapped in here with me! Except for you. You escaped somehow. The flies have a grab. Oh, they also have that. Ugh, fucking beautiful. Get the torch out. Yeah, it's uh it's gross. Say the least. Yeah, and torch is heavy as fuck, just to just to reiterate. It's cool though, it's fun. It's fun to invade as a mound maker or put your summon sign down and just kinda help. Especially great when there's another invader who decides to, you know, not be so chill. And you end up killing them with a torch while being effectively naked. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I love Troll and Red so hard. I can't beat them every time. I definitely won't beat them every time. But, man, when I can, it's fucking amazing. He has no style. He has no grace. This bug has a funny face. And stretch his wings out just for you. Yep. That's a fun time down there. And there's an invader and all that shit. Uh, I'm not looking forward to fighting him. In fact, I'm probably not going to do that right now. Mm. 
Yep. Paint a world. Just so you guys know, there's nothing. Could probably just guys in this corner really well now, I think of it. Ah, chameleon up. How many branches do we have? Eight. Ah, I want to hold on to them until we can buy them. Which is, what, two or three parts away, technically? Something like that. Assuming I break it up, it's probably within two. Yeah, it'll be two. If I, it, well, if I don't break them up, it'll be within two. If I break it up, it'll probably be three or four. Hey, back to Freed. Crazy. Let's go home, get some levels, and then we're uh, gonna delve into some bullshit. That's for damn sure. Yeah, I think I'll do the same thing. I'll level, stop recording, make a cut, it's a consequence. Well, hell, this episode in particular is gonna be like two or three parts. Well, this is, this is a fucking filler arc, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't think we need the strength. Uh, we don't really need the vit. We're pretty good in that regard. That endurance would be cool. And that would be... Let's just think. Um, are there any weapons I'm struggling with? I'm not being able to use right now. No. Vigor and endurance are going to keep us alive against the impending invaders. Because there will be some. Alright, nothing else to hand in. Nothing to give. Nothing to read. Uh, scimitar I meant to upgrade, so yeah. I've just got some backup weapons, really. Um, yeah. Try and diversify my options. Uh, it's just the pain, because I really want to get more stuff up to speed, but there's only so much you can do. Alright, well, you know what? We've got these. Let's go for it. Alright. Plus seven time. Sorry, Carthus Curve Sword. <laughs> Carver's Curved Greatsword, you're being left behind. Alright, um... Let's upgrade Black Blade, because I'd like to use it. It's one of the actually interesting katanas. And then we got some of these to make plus fours. Alright, well I'll handle that in my own time. Cool. Um... Pretty sure if we chat to Grey Rat right now, he'll be like, Hey, that Irifil, eh? Want me to, uh, go raid that? Which I do, but, uh, we'll hold off. Yeah, okay. Damn. I need one more chunk. We'll see if we can magic one up, but yeah. Taking a quick break here for recording purposes. See you back in a little bit. My thanks as always. Stronger. And then, at last, 